Welcome to One Take, Take Old, old movie, movie Reviews. I'm Barbara. And I'm David. And we um, would appreciate it if you would just leave a comment um, down below how you found us. And if you like old movies, uh, like our channel and um, maybe subscribe if you're interested in following us. We are um, doing a Humphrey Bogart series. We've done several already and tonight's movie is... Action in the North Atlantic. Yes. 1943 movies starring besides Bogey, Raymond Massey, Julie Bishop, Alan Hale, Dane Clark, and Ruth Gordon. Alan Hale was, oh, Ruth Gordon. Alan Hale was the skipper on um, Gilligan's Island, if you remember. He was quite a bit younger. But yeah, it was a movie about um, merchant marines and, um, and ha what they did during World War II and ha what, what kind of a lifeline they were for the, um, the troops and what they had to go through to get supplies to our soldiers. And so um, it was very good. It was very good. And uh, Logie plays Joe Rossi. He is a uh, uh, first, mate. first mate on the, uh, the tanker. And they, they survived one uh, submarine attack, submarine attack, and uh, several of his crew are able to uh, s to reach a, a, a raft, and they are they spend eleven days at sea before they are in, in picked up, and uh, eventually they uh, they all decide to go out, or several of them in that group go out together again on another merchant marine ship, a brand new ship. And the captain was just really honored to be able to um, captain this ship. Mm -hmm. It was a convoy of 73 ships from several several nations. They were en route to Murmansk, Russia. And uh, during that, that uh, trip across the North Atlantic, they are attacked again, um, first by a submarine, which kind of scatters the convoy and the, uh, the submarine tends to tail the, uh, the merchant marine ship, which goes off, tries to lead them off and away from the rest of the convoy. Mm -hmm. And they're following them to try to get to the rest of the convoy. And it just happens to be Bogey's ship that, you know, all of the action is happening on. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And after that, then there is, uh, they are um, come under the attack of a couple Nazi planes. So it's, 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 the action is constant mm -hmm. and in t intensive, and it's, I think it's a very good, very good, very active movie. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of action, a lot of very well shot action. I yes. thought it was very well done. Yes, yes. Um, I think the director had experience on um, um, ships during the war, so he was able to shoot. Um, some very accurate shots and um, there was, was one scene after the airplane attack and the, the submarine attacks and everything in there they're finally settling um, down to and repairing the ship which is terribly battered um, they had to bury eight men at sea was it eight or nine? Eight. Yep. Eight men at sea. And, um, and of course, the captain is wounded, so he's in his cabin. But he opens his hatch to here, and Bogart gives the service. And it was just a, it was a beautiful service. It really was. And um, very... Um, very moving. Very, very moving, moving. Very moving and very patriotic and very versed in the Bible and scripture. And and then they repeated the Lord's Prayer as they um, just put the men into the sea. But very patriotic and, um, and um, 
It was very, very well touching. appreciated by us. Yeah. yeah. Very touching. Yes. Uh, so it was really, uh, really quite a, an excellent movie, and I think it was probably very realistic. Yeah. Um, one thing I noted too, I didn't know this before, I didn't remember, Raymond Massey was actually on the show Dr. Kildare. I didn't know that. Oh. Um, just in my reading I learned that. Uh, something else, Julie Bishop, who was also in the uh, movie, I didn't really know anything about her, I don't think I'd ever heard of her before, but she starred in 80 films from 1923 to 1957. Wow. So, um, those were just a couple of, of highlights from the people, of course. Ruth Gordon is a familiar name, too, yes. but I, I can't tell you for sure what she Yes, you, you will recognize her. She's the wife of the captain. She, um, she, I knew I recognized her, um, and her voice is distinctive and everything. Um, but it seems that a lot of the movies that Bogey did during this time period were about the war, and... and um, it's amazing how they were, you know, they were in support of the troops and Yeah, and this was a very, effort. I'm sorry, as Barbara said, it was a very, uh, the film highlighted the contributions of the merchant marines yes. to the war effort. Obviously they were, um, it was not a safe, no. guaranteed safe voyage at all for mm -hmm. them. So uh, no. it was good. And I guess to that point, uh, what did you think of it? I think what were you gonna give it? Oh well, let's see. I think I think it's not one of my favorite movies. I would give it a four. I mean it was a really good movie, very you know, very touching and everything, but it's not I'm not a big action movie fan. I give it a four. I, I I liked it a lot. I liked the action and I did like the uh, the very moving scene where they buried the, the yeah. eight sailors at sea yeah. so i gave it a five i uh -huh. uh, it was like i said it was an almost constant action uh -huh. it never got dull and never dragged yeah. so it was very good another bogey film so we're yeah. down to, uh, to our last planned uh bogey film which will be the african queen so stay tuned if you like this uh that should be our next one yeah okay stick we'll with us see you next time